I love salt on my fruit. So I just did a little mini grocery haul. Oh, and I almost forgot, I got these plums as well. I can feel them down in my plum. But if you suffer from the night sweats or you're waking up frequently throughout the night, I would recommend- Because you're a skinny little- Yum. What's up gang, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a full day of eating for fat loss because I went to El Salvador for a little mini vacation last weekend. I had all the food and so I wanna tighten things up just a tad. So I'm gonna take you through my whole day of eating today. I'm gonna to track everything, so calories, macros, protein, carbs, fat, all that good stuff and show you exactly what I'm doing to lean out just a touch. Also, if you're new to the channel, I live in Mexico, and so El Salvador is only about an hour and a half flight away, and so that's why I went there for the weekend. I have an online nutritional coaching business, so I work from my laptop and I bounce around travel-wise a fair bit. Normally on workout days, I have some fruit in the morning before I work out, and then I come back and have a bigger lunch and dinner meal. But today is an off day from the gym, so I am gonna have sort of like three, two to three full meals. I'm not quite sure, I'm just gonna go by feel. All right, this is meal numero uno. We've got six whole eggs with half of a large avocado here and an apple and a banana. I put salt on both of these things. Yes, I love salt on my fruit. Well, that was absolutely delicious. I'm gonna dig into some work now and I will catch you guys at meal number two. So I got a bunch of work done. I went to get some groceries, got my hair did here. So I just did a little mini grocery haul. I hit the grocery store most days because it helps me get my steps in for the week. So I'm gonna show you what I got here. So I got 18 eggs and a whole eggs I eat most days. Got a little bit of fruit here, different types of apples. This stuff, if you've watched my videos, you've seen, this is plain 0% fat Greek yogurt. I am obsessed with this stuff. I can eat multiple tubs per day. This is a ribeye steak. We've got some chicken breast here, and this is some filet. This is without a doubt my favorite cut. It's super lean, but it's really tender as well. If you put a nice sear on it, medium rare, salt, absolutely perfect. So this is what I picked up for the next day or two. I'll probably grab a few odds and ends here and there over the next couple days. But like I said, I like to hit the grocery store almost every day just because it helps me increase my step counts. Oh, and I almost forgot, I got these plums as well. I haven't had a plum in a while. I can feel it down in my plums. You're getting a nice bluish hue. I'm feeling a little peckish. I'm not ready for a full meal, but I am gonna have something. And that something is 375 grams of plain 0% fat Greek yogurt and 150 grams of green grapes. Times two, because I'm finishing off the other half of this tub with another 150 grams of green grapes. I absolutely love this stuff. It is 6.30, I'm gonna start putting dinner together and I go to bed around 10 p.m. I like to allow at least three hours before hitting the hay to let my food digest because I've noticed that I sleep far better the further I push dinner from bedtime within reason, of course, I don't wanna to go to bed hungry. But if you suffer from the night sweats or you're waking up frequently throughout the night, I would recommend allowing at least two to three hours between dinner and when you are going to bed because that should give your body time to digest that food and then therefore you're not overheating in the night via the digestion process. Meaning you should see a big uptick in sleep quality. All right, here is part one to dinner. We've got a ribeye with a whole bunch of salt on it and I'm gonna take this fat off, this gristle, because I don't like the taste or the texture. And also bonus, fat loss is my goal and that is going to lower the calories a whole bunch. Part two coming up. Now, if you're wondering how I'm gonna calculate this fat 
and gristle that I took off, all I'm gonna do is throw this plate on my scale, turn that bad boy on, it's going to zero, there it is. Take this plate off, throw this one on with the gristle, and minus 93 grams from the total weight of the steak. Easy. All right, and here we go, we've got part two, you guessed it, plain 0% fat Greek yogurt with half of a banana and some grapes. And this might be part three, it's staring me in the face, but I don't know, I'm gonna have this first, see how I feel, and then decide. All good things come in threes. Second half of this container is going down with the second half of that banana. We couldn't leave it in the fridge. All right, guys, so that is a full day of eating for me for fat loss at the moment. I'm gonna pop the total calories and macros on the screen for you guys to check out. And just for context, my maintenance level calories at the moment are around 27 to 2800. So I was in a deficit, not a crazy one, but a deficit nonetheless. Also, it's worth mentioning, I am in no rush to lose fat at the moment. You actually might be thinking, dude, you don't have any fat to lose. You should start eating more and you should gain some muscle because you're a skinny little But at the moment, I have no aspirations or goals to gain a whole bunch of muscle. My priorities have sort of shifted towards things like running and calisthenics. So emphasizing body weight skills like handstands, handstand push-ups, pipe push-ups, muscle ups, l sits, stuff like that. If you have any questions about my nutrition, what I'm eating, how much I'm eating, fat loss, all that good stuff, feel free to post your questions in the comment section below and I'll answer those. Another reason that I like to stay on the leaner end of things is just simply because my body feels better that way. I have this sort of sweet spot body fat wise where I feel my best and I'm just above that right now. So I'm just tweaking a few things, getting down to that level, and then I'm just gonna maintain and cruise until my next vacation, most likely. If you like the video, feel free to like the video. And if you'd like to see future vids from me, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me up on Instagram, at N1 Fitness, and on TikTok, at The N1 Fitness. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something, and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.